Well, right now, U.S. intelligence is working to confirm if chemical weapons were used in by Russia in Mariupol, Ukraine. This all comes after reports claim Russia used a, a drone to drop a poisonous substance on Ukrainian troops. The Pentagon has yet to verify the reports. At the same time, the U.N. is investigating disturbing claims that Russian troops committed war crimes against women. Bree Jackson is following these developments out of Washington for us this morning. Bree, good morning. Russia ramping up a new offensive in eastern Ukraine. An already devastating situation expected to get worse now that a general nicknamed the Butcher of Syria is in charge. This has already been a brutal campaign in Ukraine and we can expect uh, to see more of it. There are fears of new attacks like the one at this Ukrainian train station that targeted civilians, including children trying to flee the region. Over 90% of the 4 million that have already left the country are women and children. And out of the 7 million that are displaced in Ukraine, the vast majority are also women and children. Of women and girls. The UN is investigating reports of violence against women. Women in Ukraine are at increased risk for gender-based violence, including rape, sexual assault, and sexual exploitation. With the the President Zelensky making urgent pleas for more firepower from the West, warning of a dangerous new chapter of war. During a virtual meeting with President Biden, India's prime minister condemned the killing of innocent civilians. The administration urged India not to increase its reliance on Russian gas and oil. They should use that leverage constructively to help bring this conflict to an end. It is undeniable that India has a relationship with Russia uh, that we don't have. Hope for diplomacy still on the table as talks between Russia and Ukraine continue. Today, the Biden administration will announce new efforts to address high gas prices, which the administration blames on Putin's war. In Washington, I'm Bree Jackson for Local 4 News Today.